I found an excellent video today in which there was a conference that Brett Baer of Fox News hosted and he invited reporters who cover the White House press briefings to give their opinion of this current administration. And Breitbart and CNN, they had a little bit of an exchange, I got it for you, but I think what Breitbart had to say pretty much expresses what the American people think. So here's the video, enjoy. Uh, and so, you know, it, these, these verbal gymnastics that Sean, I can understand why yesterday happened. Uh, the exhaustion, the level of exhaustion he must be feeling right now, having to deal with this president who is just sort of unwielding uh, and, 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 and difficult to corral, it must be a pretty draining experience. Well, yeah, I mean, if you well, wake I mean, up and you, you see a tweet that changes your entire day, um, that's interesting in 140 characters or less uh just talk about that for a second for about covering a president who has his own printing press who you know it's a unique thing anybody oh, i just wanted to mention like you know i think what upsets a lot of our readers is when you hear some when you hear people like you know when you hear the media being so willing to exonerate susan rice as jim just did and, you know, they take a completely hostile tone towards, towards the president, but when it comes to people like Susan Rice, they're not taking the same tone of hostility. And a lot of the, a lot of the news that they publish on that, it, I think a lot of our readers see that as sort of coming from one side. This is why our readers are so comfortable with the president describing as the media as the opposition party. They're getting most of their talking points, all, a good portion of their sources from their Democratic friends. They didn't vote for the president. They don't know too many of the president's supporters. And I think that, you know, I think there is a difference in tone from coming from the mainstream media versus Breitbart. You know, and, and so we just have to, and, and, and Brett and I are very friendly with each other, and, and I'm, you know, I, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Carl Cameron and John Roberts, my uh, Fox News uh, colleagues out on the campaign trail. And I just, uh, you know, I'd love to, uh, for all of us to get away from this day where we're just ripping each other apart because of political differences. I think good people uh, can disagree um, on the issues, and uh, it's, it's time for good people to disagree in a civil way about how the news is covered in this country. And I, I'd love it to start down the street of Pennsylvania Avenue, uh, and I'd love to see it at, at places like Breitbart, and, and, and perhaps uh, our folks can do a better job at, at that as well. Well, I think those sort of the go along, get along, everyone gets along climate in Washington, D.C. is what Americans are tired of. They're tired of the, the closeness of the news media with the officials they cover. They're, they, they're tired of the, the stories of everybody hanging out and going out to dinners and partying. And, and they're tired of their happens, issues. That happens with Republicans and Democrats, too, to be fair. I mean, it's not as though reporters are hanging out with only Democrats. We have dinners and lunches and coffees with Republicans as well. Right, but it's part of the establishment. It's part of the swamp that, you know, the Trump supporters were very sick of. <laughs> I, the, the public doesn't believe us anymore?